Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me in this particular session. You're looking at beautiful accessories. It's all matters pertaining all carry smart crafts. You're looking at beadwork and different accessories this uh, young amazing lady actually makes and it's a conversation you want to stick around because uh, we're going to learn one or two three things when it comes to making a, a sample of uh, a necklace yeah this is a choker necklace and she's going to tell us more about how she comes around uh, just making this beautiful piece right here oh my goodness oh i'm feeling myself so okay oh, smart craft uh, deals in customized choker necklace like this one and so many others that you're going to look into and we also have bracelets and a variety of more other products so most uh, de derived from uh, uh, beads and uh, oh, speak about creativity this is an amazing piece that we have and so many more can't wait you guys to just stick around and have this conversation and get to learn one or two things one or two three things when it comes to business and also get to meet uh, none other than Kerry Muchoge who is the founder and CEO of All Kerry Smart Crafts. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> You're so much composed. Come on. You know, you're, you're making amazing pieces here, Kerry. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd like to, I just want you to be free with me as we have this conversation because I am so looking forward to learn. Okay, okay I'm, I'm not, not sure if I'm good at it, but I just want to learn one or two, three tips when it comes to this business. For the person who's meeting you for the first time, who is Kerry Mochoge? Um, Kerry Mochoge is a uh, <laughs> this amazing you. lady, yeah, <laughs> actually it is me. Uh -huh. I'm the founder of All Carry Smart Crafts, both on social media, on all social media mm -hmm. platforms. Actually, it's an online business. Okay. Yeah, okay. I thought it was best for me to carry it out on social media platforms. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. But what was your childhood like that uh, made you or influenced you to get into business? Um, being raised in a family of five, mm -hmm. being a firstborn, and uh, my dad passing, you know, at a tender age, it was a challenge. Okay. I can tell you it was a challenge. Raised by a single mother who did not have anything, you know. Putting food, food in the table, it was that one biggest challenge. Actually, I was in class seven when I learned some beaded accessories whereby I got a scholarship here in Nairobi. Uh, this person was supporting me in terms of my school fees and for that case I happened to to stay with the nuns and you know the Catholic nuns they normally make the the rosaries that they normally wear for the Catholics. Okay. So that's the point when I started now learning uh, beadwork and as time went by, I just realized that I'm so much in love with beads. I would stay where beads are. Despite the fact that I would make um, these beaded accessories with the rosaries, I would sell at only 50 shillings. I really love them. Mm -hmm. And for that case, after my class eight, that's now the job I did when mm -hmm. I went back now home, my home was in Eldoret. Okay, yeah. impressive. Uh, quite a story there. And uh, you mentioned that you are in love, you are in love and still in love with beads. So who taught you? How did you learn and how did you keep up with the trends to come up with such an amazing choker necklace? How do you keep up, keep, keep up with the trends? Okay, getting to form two, I, I met a certain uh, lady who was making some beaded accessories. Okay. This one was uh, beads with names, you know, like this one that I'm wearing okay. here. Okay. So I happened to tell her, make me uh, a bracelet with my name. All right. So she made me with my name. Then I requested for that code, the working code. Okay. Do you know what happened? I went, started destroying that bracelet that bracelet? she made me, mm -hmm. and I started making now how she was doing. I was just checking on how she does and I did some inquiries, where can I get these beads, where can I get that, here in Eldoret, where can I get them mm -hmm. and that's how I just 
found myself doing. Okay, so back from high school to till date, I would like to find out, so give us an in-look of what sort of products Okiri uh, bring to the market. Right now I'm holding an, uh, a choker necklace. So what else do, do you make? I have over 30 pieces of different accessories, home deco, you know, beauty products for ladies, like the necklaces. The Maasai sandals. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like the one you're wearing, right? Yes, the okay. one I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah. So I have about uh, 30 pieces. Okay. Uh, but the chokers, they're the latest products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So from uh, from the from the necklace, then we have the the bracelets. The bracelets. Then you 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 mentioned something about uh, it deco. When it comes to let's look at interior deco. Maybe like in a home space, yeah. even in a in a in um in an office. What are some of the accessories do you make? Um, in a home, we have the fruit baskets, the trays. Then we have uh, the table mats. Mm -hmm. We also have, um, okay, different types of table mats. Okay, it's okay. not only one uh -huh. design, but mm -hmm. I, have, I have about three designs of table All right. mats. All right. Then the fruit trays, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have the mats. All right, we're going to yeah. look into uh, to the to the accessories that you mentioned, uh, uh, having visuals on them, and just getting to learn more about uh, the work that you do. So. What was your first accessory design and you were proud of that particular piece? And how much did you sell, sell that piece? It was this bracelet that I'm wearing. All right. And uh, I used to sell it at 50 shillings okay. during that time. Mm -hmm. That is, when I say during that time, that is, this is my ninth year. Nine years in the business. Yes, nine mm -hmm. years in the business. And uh, selling it at 50 shillings, it enabled me to get school fees for my Form four. What? Yes, I would go to the streets, um, just convince people to buy it. And that time, I even thought that um, I would not even continue with my high school studies. I stayed for a whole term. That was first term, with without going to school. That was because of school fees. Okay. And for that case, the bracelets were my one of the biggest and amazing product that I ever made in my life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am so much uh, uh, proud of you and that fact that you're very uh, confident in your business and you're a very hardworking young lady. So let, let's go back nine years, <laughs> nine years <laughs> back. What was your initial capital? Mm -hmm. Speaking of my initial capital, yes. that was hey. And how did I you actually even, even get your, uh, your capital? Huh? Hey, this was uh, wow. For the sake of the person who is watching, uh, mm -hmm. are you not comfortable telling us how much? I'm is comfortable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, at the start, mm -hmm. you'd get uh, some small savings that I used to have. Okay. You know, you may get like these uh, accessing these products. They were not that much expensive. Like you can get a packet of it mm -hmm. costing something like thirty shillings. Right. You know, okay. and uh, but by then they were not original beads you know mm -hmm. something that i can sell it at 50 shillings but for now getting this product is about 150 to 200 you know uh with the you know with the shangas that i used to do with they were not that much expensive so getting that little cash from the saving that i used to mm -hmm. have yeah okay you worked with what you had Yes, I worked yes. with what I had. So where do you get the beads uh, and the materials that you work with? At the moment, I get them at Karyoko. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, due to this pandemic, mm -hmm. getting this product has been so difficult. Um, the access to go to China, bring them, they mm -hmm. make a challenge kidogo. All right. Yeah. Now, 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 do you work alone or do you have a team? How does it work for you? Of course, I work with a team. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot manage to do this. Like I make the products at mm -hmm. the same time, I do marketing. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, I do the supply. Mm -hmm. I have a team that I'm working mm -hmm. with. Have you ever felt like giving up in this business? 
No, 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 mm. no, no. <laughs> All right, so let's look at, uh, let me start with the chokers, because I love chokers, okay. uh, ne chokers necklace. So how long did it take you to make this particular piece? And uh, what inspired this design? Um, you know, doing it online, mm -hmm. of course, there's a lot and a lot of accessories online. So... Um, doing my research, you know, mm -hmm. you see this design, you see the other design, and as my every day to day, uh, uh, my every day to day job, you know, I just came to learn that, you know, my words in Apanuka, mm. I think big now, what next? Then, uh, one challenge I got is, you know. Today, Niki Kuzia fruit basket, mm -hmm. you're not going to pick it again tomorrow. New Unless I come up with something new, mm -hmm. you know. You can't just have a home full of fruit baskets, pekeake. And for that case, my memories just expanded automatically. Mm -hmm. And for that case, I just found myself doing it. Okay. Yeah. And how did you tap into the local market? How did I tap into? Into okay. the local market. We a client to Kwanza. Ama venye ulianza biashara ule ulezaji kupata uh, customers wako convincing people on the street mm -hmm. that were my first uh, clients you know at first i was not in a position to do it online it's unlike now you know for now i can do it online but at first i would even meet someone like you and they just convince you so no no to a bracelet please i'm doing it because of this this and that you know I'm just doing it because of my school fees. I would go to the streets in Eldoret, just convincing people to buy the products. But for now, since it is online, you know, it reaches many people. Yeah, international. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll get much into that. Okay, smart craft imifika international. So, mingi yapenda kujua, mpoko kianza, ya? Uh, kuna biashara nyingi zinafanya bid work yeah hata kule mtaani kuna watu wanafanya pay bid work nini nafanya all carry smart craft uh, design kuwe different mm. borrowing ideas you know mm -hmm. the moment nione okay if i see someone has done bid work you know i have now to make that product look much more unique to convince my client Ah, this one is so different from the other one and that's how I win my clients you know just mm -hmm. making a product look slightly different mm -hmm. yeah okay so uh, going back to what you had mentioned earlier on about your travel to SA Johannesburg so the experience getting how did you get how did you even get the opportunity to travel to SA and uh, what sort of experience <laughs> did you have there that uh, influenced your business in a positive way Okay, having a friend, interacting with uh, friends. Mm -hmm. you know, while I was in Eldoret doing these sales, mm -hmm. I happened to meet a lot of entrepreneurs doing businesses. And uh, I met a friend who was so touched with what I do. Mm. And she really loved what I do. And uh, by that time I was doing sales at Rupa Small in Eldoret. Okay. And... Uh, since she was in love with what I do, with the small savings that I had, I happened to go there just to, you know, it was like having fun. Kutembea mm. too. Then now, you know, I just told myself, now this is the opportunity. And you know, like my products, I can carry them with me. I can go with them wherever I can. Mm -hmm. So I just happened to go with them and uh, Okay. Use that I opportunity. Did, I used that opportunity. Mm. Yes. <laughs> opportunity. Yes, it's <laughs> <table. laughs> Yes. So for kulem to na kona size na naskei conversation and uh, nine years down the line, you're doing an amazing, amazing work. Uh, a couple of your uh, projects here, different designs. Na mto kona idea kwanza biashara, lakini ana feel. I miss it. Yeah, sina capital ya kwanza ya kutosha. Ama mi nango jaya suku flani, mezi flani, even mesha panga mahali and don't answer be a share. Unesan pati advice kani yoko yomtu. Start with what you have. Mm -hmm. You can even uh, start with an idea. 
you don't have to need 100,000 for you to start a particular business. Just start with what you have and you know, even an idea, you know, mm -hmm. you can uh, transform it into a reality and it will become something big. Okay. Yeah. Do you don't have to, to, to need uh, capital, you don't have to wait for a particular day for you to start that uh, 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 business that you have in mind. Okay. Yes. Do you regret getting into this business? No, 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 no I don't. In fact, I love it. I really love it. Mm -hmm. But I know it was not my career. Okay. Um, situation made me to realize a lot of things that I have okay. to realize this art and I don't regret. Okay, before yes. being passionate about this ad, uh, what was your initial career? You mentioned, you mentioned that. I was to do nothing. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened? Yes, I was to do nothing. Uh -huh. um, with, the, with the push of my mother, mm -hmm. I was to do medicine. Okay. And uh, like what happened? Uh, you know, life happens. school fees, you know, mm -hmm. uh, life challenges, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Through this art, I managed to take myself to school, you see. Yes. I again dropped out from school, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. see. Yes, yeah, that, it was so, so, yes. yes, yes, yes. And I love the fact that you never give up, that you are, I, I, your situation is quite interesting, like you're thrown to the world quite very early and you managed to make something out of yourself and being a business owner right now, that's quite very impressive. <laughs> so let's look at a couple of uh, challenges that you're faced you face so far, apart from just financial aspect of it. Challenges getting in on a PTA. COVID has, be, has been my number one challenge. Mm -hmm. For real, what do I want to pay, sir? Mm -hmm. People are just doing inquiries. How mm -hmm. much do you sell this? And that is it. They don't buy. COVID mm -hmm. has been my number one mm -hmm. biggest challenge. Okay. And being it an online business, um, legitimacy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, most people, you know, they don't see whether the business is legit. legit okay. I have to do, uh, like a lot to make them now understand, oh, it's a real business. Mm -hmm. And you know, now this is Kenya, you know, you, I, uh, like, I've lost about 10 products, you okay. know, trusting someone giving my product in return this person is not paying in a potato to evil mm -hmm. and uh, i just thank some companies like uh, some companies that i was using as a parcel delivery like sending a product to mombasa then i realized this person will not pay mm -hmm. i just uh, talked to this company no don't don't give out this product mm -hmm. that one has really helped me okay then another thing is uh, logistic. Okay. You know, um, uh, uh, in uh, logistic. Mm -hmm. um, okay. When you look at, uh, I understand you. And mm -hmm. just before even we continue, yeah, I would like to find out how do you move past people just uh, uh, lying and just going with your products. How do you move past that and just um, uh, continue with your business and look at the brighter side? Okay, for now I don't trust anyone. Mm -hmm. You have to pay on delivery. Okay. Yes. Uh, and how do you build credibility? You mentioned something important, like w because it's an online business, people, they're, they're not sure if it's legit, so they shy away from it, but mm -hmm. how do you build your credibility to, to just make them actually understand that uh, I'm actually, this is for real, like if you, if you pay, I'm actually going to deliver. Okay, what happens, mm -hmm. if I told a client wants uh, some pieces of bracelets, mm -hmm. if there are 10, mm -hmm. I first do the first five, mm -hmm. send him or her on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. then he does the down payment or the clearance. Okay. After I'm done, mm -hmm. then I deliver the products. Mm. Do you feel yeah. Kenyans support or appreciate uh, bid work? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Like for the Maasai, you know, the Kalenji, with their cultural activities, they yes. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what would you advise someone who has a business idea but they, they fear? You mentioned that, that you should just start with what you have. Let's look at a couple of ach uh, achievements that you've actually experienced for the past nine years down the road. Uh, be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, patience is uh, 
one of the biggest uh, things that I had in me. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be patient in everything you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Be patient and trust your journey. Okay. Yeah. And uh, earlier on, before uh, we went live for this conversation, I was asking how long it takes to make uh, a, a bracelet or even a, a choker necklace. And you mentioned you work with a team. I'd like to find out uh, how, how, how has COVID-19 affected uh, the business in terms of teamwork? Or do you still work with the team? And if you ask how many and... Uh, uh, if no, how long does it take to make probably, if it's a choker, it's a bracelet? Okay, since COVID, uh, I don't work with my full team. Okay. I just had to stop them because mm, okay. what are we doing? Mm -hmm. But I only have a few mm -hmm. marketing. You know, every day we have to do marketing mm -hmm. on our online platforms. Okay. Yeah. All right. For a client who is looking for a particular design, maybe a, a wedding coming up, mm -hmm. a birthday, they have this idea of a bracelet they want, they have an idea. Do you make rings? Uh, yes, yet. I do. Oh, but yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, uh, they have an idea of a particular design. So is it possible for you to bring that to life if you sit down with a client? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, What's the vision looking like when it comes to all carry smart craft designs? Wow. You know, you're almost <laughs> a decade, clearly. It's yes. almost 10 years. It's but let's look years, at yeah. probably another 5 or 10, yes? Okay, I want all carry smart craft to be in the eyes of many households. Okay. Like, I want it to be, you know, be something that can be you know, can be heard by many. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So maybe you could give us your social media handles. Now guys can reach out to you, make their orders, because I'm about to make mine. <laughs> <laughs> so how can guys reach out on, uh, to you on social media? Okay, you can find me at Twitter, at Kerry Kalk. Instagram, all Kerry Smartcrafts, K-E. Facebook, all Kerry. Smart crafts. Mm -hmm. We are also available in GG, Jumia, and Etsy. Hey, yes, I see you. I sales see you. Okay. All there. Mm. Sales everywhere. It's marketing everywhere. Yes, yeah. everywhere it's marketing. All right. Yeah. I have to say that I'm really, really very much proud of you, Katie, okay, because uh, uh, starting a business at a very young age, it's almost a decade, mm -hmm. and uh, you're doing an amazing job here. And uh, of course, I'm going to be a client here. And wow. you should too, so make sure you follow uh, all carry smart craft across all social media platforms, yeah. right? All right, and get your orders, be it bracelet, necklace, whatever you want, she can make it happen, right? Yeah. So at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all the social media platform. At Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. So make sure you don't touch that, that will be coming up. Uh, the, uh, we have a question on our Facebook page, head on to there, and I uh, want to hear from you. Keep the conversation going. I'll uh, we'll be right back with another interview. <laughs>